Money, I'm home. Welcome in. I'm Lynn Sharman Johnson with Consumers Credit Union. From finance to fitness, we have it all. And I'll tell you what, we are so excited because Consumers Credit Union has sponsored for many years an event that is extremely near and dear to my heart, but it's also for so many of you out there listening, and it is called Find Your Happy Place Golf Outing. Now, you might think, huh? Why is that near and dear to my heart? Because it is a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. And I'm so pleased to introduce you today, Rob Johnson. He happens to be my son. And a few years back, he created Find Your Happy Place. Rob, thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Lynn. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for having me. You can call me, Rob. It's all good. good. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm holding up, uh, and you can't see it on a podcast, but I'm holding up a very special cup in my hand, and it's a cup that is Betty's porch. Now, Betty is my mom. We called her Grandma Betty growing up, and I'm gonna let Robbie take it from here because uh, he started an outing just after my mother passed away, his grandma, and she had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's at a time when I thought that I wouldn't find my happy place. This young man made it happen. Absolutely. So we're going on our fifth year doing this. And man, is it, a, is it a, just a ton of fun. And it is a lot of work that we put into it. But uh, every year we celebrate the life of, of Betty, but we also celebrate the idea of finding a cure for an absolutely awful disease. And so what had happened was back in May of 2017, we had lost Grandma Betty to the Alzheimer's disease. And it affects everyone everyone differently. And everyone I, that I talk to knows somebody who's personally affected by it. just an absolutely awful disease. But the reason that it, I had had this kind of idea or this passion to do this was Betty wasn't just a normal grandma uh, to us, me and my five brothers and sisters. So Betty's house was attached to ours. She lived she lived with us from a very young age. I think if I remember from uh, about the time I was in first or second grade, she lived with us. And so she was like a second mom. And so the memories, I mean, playing basement hockey, you know, the, the milkshakes at night and uh, the late night snacks, watching movies down with her. I remember she showed us at a very young age, the movie Misery. That's haunted me. It's haunted me to this day, the the ankle scene. But the number one memory I have is she had this loft. This loft had, uh, it was was a, a bedroom. And in the bedroom was one of those white TVs that had the VHS right embedded in into it. And so when we would have friends come over and sleep over, we would go and we'd sleep over at Betty. So it was like a sleepover within a sleepover. It was so much fun. And you were away from mom and dad and you had cool Betty downstairs. There were no rules. She didn't care how late you stayed up. But she only had two VHSs. So if you didn't go to the movie store to rent a a VHS, if you didn't do that, you only had two to choose from at Grandma Betty's. You had Wayne's World and you had Happy Gilmore. When you're in fourth, fifth and sixth grade, the movie that was just easy to watch and made a lot of sense was Happy Gilmore. I grew up playing hockey. I love Adam Sandler. And we always grew up playing golf as well. We would watch that movie over and over and over at, at Grandma Betty's. Because it's all we had to watch. But man, would we laugh and we'd laugh and we'd laugh. And so it's near and dear in, in my heart when I think of the movie Happy Gilmore, which to this day I can say is my favorite movie of all time, I think of Grandma Betty. And so when we lost Grandma Betty, I knew that I wanted to do something. There was something inside of me that said, we need to do something to try to raise money and honor Grandma Betty. And so I thought, well, you know what? I, I still love golfing. I still love the movie Happy Gilmore. What if we did a Happy Gilmore themed golf outing? Just complete fun, debauchery, have a blast out on the golf course with all of our friends and our family and try to bring people in. But more importantly, all of the proceeds within this this golf outing go towards fighting the cure for Alzheimer's. So the way I look at it is in the movie Happy Gilmore, Happy plays golf for his grandma. So my idea was I'll play golf for my grandma, but who could you play golf for? And that's really the question that we we ask uh, year over year. We have costume contests. We have themed holes where you have to do a Happy Gilmore swing. There's one hole where you have to putt with a hockey stick. One hole where you have to putt into a clown's mouth. So, I mean, the event itself is an absolute blast. The costumes have to be the best part because, I mean, how many you, you go out to a golf course and you see the button up and the tucked in pants and the nice hat, right? And all of a sudden you see to the left, you see a guy dressed as Gene Simmons from Kiss. I mean, what's full makeup, everything like that. It's unbelievable. So we have just so much fun out there. We don't take it too seriously. I mean, we definitely don't. Uh, but but everyone seems to have a, a fun time year over year. And so it's been great. We've done, we're going on five years now. Uh, in 2020, we had the virtual. We did virtual because 
uh, obviously it was, it was COVID. And so what we did was we did a watch-a-thon. Everyone watched the movie and you had, had to tweet your favorite quote and stuff like that. And I said, it's gonna be tough to raise $1,200. And we ended up raising $3,000. So we raised as much in virtual as I wanted to raise in my first year. And that's when I really knew we had something special. And yeah, year three comes along and that's Shanice's last year as the, the director of the Michigan chapter. And and Shanice comes out and she helps us. And I set the goal at $8,000, $3,000 higher than what we did two years prior. And man, did we knock it out of the park. And in this one, I owe a ton, a, a ton to consumers, our title sponsor, because they really help us, uh, you know, as our title sponsor, get get some good marketing out there and and, and reach the right people. We raised in, in 2021, $13,000. So we blew it out by $5,000. And then last year was our fourth year and, and, and our biggest year yet, where we said, let's see if we can't stretch this out to 15000 and due to some wonderful, wonderful sponsorships and some wonderful partnerships, um, you know, with Raymond James, with Top of the World uh, Engraving, Nothing Bunt Cakes, Grover Lewis Johnson, year after year is our food and beverage sponsorship. We set the goal at 15000 and last year we raised $22,000. That is net proceeds that go directly to uh, the awesome. I, we, we take zero cut from this. The money that we raise is going to an unbelievable cause and an unbelievable mem- memory of our grandma Betty. Abby, I can honestly tell you that you were the very first podcast guest that I never had to ask a second question to. I just kept talking, <laughs> didn't I? Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, the yeah. apple doesn't fall far, does it? Yeah. Hey, you know what, though? Seriously, this year, we are going for a record $25,000, and uh, I think we're going to blow it out of the park. But I, I do know that, hey, if you're a business or you're an individual and you you cannot golf, but you'd like to participate, we're going to send you the link so that you can get involved. Um, mm-hmm. But please consider golfing. It is truly one of the most unique events. And I, and I have to tell you, Robbie, what I think warms my heart the most are complete strangers that don't know, you know, the Johnson Bunch or they didn't know Grandma Betty. But now they play year after year because it's become something very near and dear to them. And we actually also have memorials on the course. And so Mm -hmm. people can actually have golf signs memorializing or in honor of perhaps Mm -hmm. it's a caregiver. Explain how how important that part is. That's, I think, the most important part of the entire event, because we do it. And I say we, I mean, the Johnsons, we do it in honor of Grandma Betty. But when you can go up to every single hole and there's an in honor of or a memoriam of it really hits home for what what this is all for right and so when you can see that there's so many other people just like just like us that have been uh awful, awfully affected by uh this disease i think that puts it in perspective and so that is one of the most important things that we can do if, if you can't get out and play or if you don't have a business uh to, to sponsor you can go out to the same same website and it's a whole sponsorship and you just put uh when you send that in you put in memoriam of and, and I'll, I'll be contacting you personally to say hey would you like a picture of that individual would you like a qu- one of their favorite quotes maybe a, a piece of artwork uh, that we do. And one of the number one in memoriams that we have is is of the late uh, Mr. Ken Klein parents. And that's from my Aunt Julie. And so Aunt Julie has been uh, an unbelievable partner of mine. She's been there since day one. And so there's not enough people I can't I can thank on, on this. And I'm sure I'm missing people, but we can't do it without the support that we have from our family and our friends. And so September 30th this year, um, we still have some great sponsorships available. So uh, get the word out there and 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 there's still time to register to play. So uh, we're going to be at Maple Hill Golf Course in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan this year. They're really excited for us. Uh, rumor is we're going to have Chick-fil-A. That's a rumor, but Chick-fil-A might be the, the food of choice afterwards. Uh, beer is included uh, on the course, which will be fun. There'll be some waters and some pops out there as well, too. So all for a good cause. But yeah, it's going to be an absolute blast. And we can't thank consumers enough for continuing to be our title sponsor. We can't do it. Uh, without you and all of our sponsors. If I, if I missed any, uh, uh, please, my apologies. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I can't tell you how much it means to have the support. And uh, people look forward to this year over year, and I'm just blessed that they that they continue to. So, Well, Rob Johnson, thank you so much. Listen, if you can't tell how emotionally supported we are of this, it's pretty big. Yeah. And, and I can tell you that those who are listening, I know for a fact what you have gone through or are going through if you are connected to anybody who has Alzheimer's or dementia. It is not an easy disease. And as a caregiver, we especially want to support you. And at a time years ago, when uh, my son came up to me and said, I'd like to help help you find your happy place. Years later, he did. Yeah. 
So we sure hope you can join us here at Consumers Credit Union. The Find Your Happy Place golf outing is so much fun. Join us September 30th. I'm yeah. Lynn Johnson. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Mom. I, I appreciate it. It'll be great on the 30th. We can't thank our sponsors enough. And the Michigan chapter, the Alzheimer's Association, if you want to know how to do your own longest day, Kathleen will actually be out there. Kathleen is now the director. She's been helping me the last two years. She is instrumental. She is wonderful. She's a rock star. She'll be at one of the holes doing some, some contests and maybe some Alzheimer's trivia just to, to spread some awareness. But she can also give you the information while you're there at the event to do your own longest day if, if you want to, or, or other ways that you can give back to the association. So can't thank her enough. And we're looking forward to having her out there as well. And hey, if you are a volunteer, we cannot thank our volunteers enough. From Austin, your beautiful wife, my gorgeous daughter-in-law, to all of the volunteers, our cousin Casey, who helps on one of the holes that's funnier than funny, you just gotta come. You got to come and volunteer if you can, because you also will be part of the family and have a wonderful day. Absolutely. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you on September 30th. And hey, everybody who's listening, just stop on our website. You're going to find all the links that you need to have a really fun day. Also, to support if you cannot come. Hey, Jake Esselink, thank you for your production skills. Everybody have a safe week out there. And if you have a topic you'd like to share, just send it our way. Lynn Jarman Johnson, Consumers Credit Union, Money, I'm Home.